Well, good afternoon all you sexy guys and girls out there. It's Gary Sletcher here and I am having a mid-bike crisis. Visit my blog on mymidbikecrisis.blogspot.com And as you see, it's a beautiful day in Cape Town. And there's the mountain with its tablecloth. And uh, yeah, lovely autumn day. And so I thought we'd start at the beginning. That's Mr. Blister, Honda Veradero 1000. And uh, I thought I'd teach you how to ride the thing. You might want to start on a smaller bike for the first time. And uh, just to explain the controls, we have the clutch. Works like a car, same, same principle. It's great for doing backflips if you rev your bike unnecessarily at a traffic light and then drop the clutch. And uh, on the right here we have the accelerator. Uh, to open the accelerator, you go that away, and to close it off, that away, and if you let it go, it should click back to its original position. And we have the front brake here, very helpful if you want to stop. Um, down here, <coughs> we have the gears. How you use the gears, from neutral you kick down once into first, you obviously must pull the clutch first and then up to 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th and don't try and change to 7th, it's just embarrassing I'll do it all the time and on the right we have the back brake also helpful if you have the sudden urge to stop while learning to ride the bike you want to use the back brake mostly because the front brake is very sharp so be careful of the front brake and uh, remember where the brakes are Okay. Because the first time I rode, I forgot where they were and uh, rode into a tree. And my son did the same thing and he rode into my car. But he was okay, luckily. The car was a bit dinged and I was a bit miffed. But he was fine. Okay, so we've got the clutch, front brake, which you're not going to worry about too much, accelerator, back brake, and gears down there. Get on the bike like you mount a horse from the left hand side and as you can see I'm wearing protective gear I've got my gloves, helmet, jacket, pants and boots so get yourself some protective gear because even at low speed if you fall it's going to be ouch okay so make a plan big borrow or steal learn to shoplift or something right it's very important to put the stand up okay to start the bike you need to turn the ignition on this is the kill switch which is in the off position to make sure that's on and hit the start button as soon as it starts we're going to release the button so we don't kill that very expensive little thing deep down inside the engine somewhere okay i'm going to pull the clutch and kick it down into first we're in first gear you heard it click there i hope now before we touch the accelerator I'm not going to open the accelerator, what I'm going to do is let the clutch out until I find the friction zone where the clutch engages with the engine. And I can, you can see I'm moving forward slightly and I'm just feeling where that, where that friction zone is. And I'm going to just let the bike roll forward and I'm duck walking, holding myself up. And here we go, I haven't touched the accelerator, it's completely off and I can put my feet on the pegs now using the back brake to slow down forget about the front for now and do a nice slow turn and come to a stop remember to put your feet out <laughs> might be embarrassing if you don't especially when the, a girl is jogging by okay which tends to happen a lot in Camp Bay so we're going to do that one more time just letting the clutch out, feeling where the friction zone is and the bike's moving forward don't exactly have wind in our hair and I'm just duck walking it but I'm putting my feet on the pegs now the bike's going smoothly it's just feathering the clutch as well just letting it out and just keeping it in that friction zone another slow turn and back brake and come to a stop now I'd suggest you do that a few times just to get used to the bike 
get used to where that friction zone in the clutch is. And as you see, there's a girl jogging again. And uh, I shouldn't be looking. Right, where were we? Okay, so you want to do that a couple of times to get used to the clutch. Because if you drop the clutch, the bike's going to lurch forward. Now once you've got that under your belt, you want to start using the throttle. But very, very gently, okay? And this is how you do it. You obviously put it in first gear, which I already am in. And open the throttle slightly. About 2,000 revs. And let the bike go slowly. Put your feet on the pegs. Back brake. And now you can, as you see, I'm just letting the clutch out. Just a little bit of, of throttle. Very gently. And as I said, remember where the brakes are. So don't panic if, if the bike lurches forward or whatever. Just slightly, or should I say gently, tap the brakes. And don't open the, th the throttle thinking that you're closing it. If you do that, then just pull the clutch. So it's back brakes and clutch will get you standing still very quickly. Okay, now as you see, I'm, I'm turning the wheel to steer like this. And it's taking me at the, in that direction. But if we are going faster than like, what, 10 k's? You're going to have to do what is called counter steering. So if I want to go left, I'm actually going to steer right. Very slightly, of course. Not like that, because you'll fall on your ass. And so let me take you on the road and show you what I mean. And we'll do some gear changing. And get some wind in our hair. And I love it when they... You buy a bike, you think, because you want to get the wind in your hair, but meanwhile you've got a helmet on. So, so unless you've got long hair, you're just going to get helmet head. Slow and smooth pull off. Let it get to about 4,000, 5,000 and kick it in to second gear. So I pulled the clutch, disengaged the throttle and kicked it into second. Clutch in, throttle out, third gear. And we'll hang around third gear because we don't need to go any faster than this. And basically that's it. It's pretty easy to drive. Now as you see I'm using counter steering and leaning around the corner. It's very very subtle. You normally don't even really have to think about it. But you need to understand the concept. Because my aunt for instance, she, she bought herself a little scooter and she couldn't turn left. She couldn't understand why until I explained counter steering. And then she suddenly understood the concept and she could turn left again. So now I'm down into first gear. So I was in second actually. And open the throttle a bit. Let the revs come up. Clutch in. Second gear. And open it up again. And really it is as simple as that. Using my back brake to stop in the beginning because that front brake's very, very, very sharp. So get to know the front brake before you actually use it. So you don't go doing a, a stoppy, which isn't fun unless you planned on doing that, of course. And also another thing is the engine can be used to slow you down, as you can see. Sometimes it's not necessary to even use the brakes. And it's as easy as that. Don't be scared. Don't panic. And remember where the brakes are. And uh, I hope this has helped you. And uh, I'm going to go for a ride and experience this lovely day, but windy, which is cool. And don't forget to visit my blog. My mid by crisis dot blogspot dot com. Cheers.